Wild animals are not really that different from us humans. They strive to survive each day and reproduce to carry on their species. There are some aspects in which these animals differ from us. For one, don't harm each other out of spite and greed, but for protection, and it appears that might no longer be the case. A recent incident in a national park shows that gorillas and chimps might be violently fighting each other purely out of spite. Join us as we explore how scientists just revealed that chimps and gorillas have been seen going to war for the first time. Chimpanzees and gorillas are our closest relatives in the animal kingdom, sharing over 98% of our DNA. Much like humans, these animals live in groups, mostly made up of family members, as they scavenge and reproduce throughout their lives. Both species are not commonly known for being violent towards each other, and have been observed to coexist in the same patches of forest range for centuries. But researchers have found reason to believe that this may no longer be the case. A recent occurrence in the Logano National Park in Gabon has spurred belief that chimps and gorillas may be going to war with each other, and it may have been going on for the longest time. In two separate incidences, chimpanzees were observed to outnumber and attack a smaller group of gorillas, where both incidents led to the death of an infant gorilla. The first incident was recorded on February 2019, when a group of 18 chimpanzees was seen attacking a group of just five gorillas. The group of gorillas was made up of one male silverback, three adult females, and one infant gorilla. The clash seemed to have been instigated by the chimpanzees as they encountered the small group of gorillas on their way back from scouting out a nearby territory. The fight lasted for over 50 minutes, and the chimps were able to separate the infant gorilla from its mother and kill it. The gorillas were able to escape with injuries on both sides, most notably on the silverback. The second incident took place in December of the same year, and this time involved a larger group of 27 chimpanzees, some of which the researchers noted were involved in the first incident 10 months prior. This time, it was a group of seven gorillas, including one silverback, three adult females, two infants, and one juvenile. Again, the altercation seemed to be instigated by the chimps who came across the gorillas on a border patrol. The particular fight lasted over 79 minutes and again resulted in the death of an infant gorilla, after which the chimps ate the dead infant. The question is, what caused these groups of primates to suddenly go to war at the first sight of each other? Researchers have embarked on a new study, attempting to shed some light on what might have caused the unusual trend of aggression between the chimps and gorillas. As researchers have stated, acts of aggression and violence are not entirely unusual amongst big primates such as these, but they are incredibly rare and are the results of a pre-existing issue such as territorial encroachment or food scarcity. Primatologist Tobias Deschner from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig, Germany, had to say this, Our observations provide the first evidence that the presence of chimpanzees can have a lethal impact on gorillas. We now want to investigate the factors triggering these surprisingly aggressive interactions. Some researchers have stated that competition for food or general food scarcity within the region could have caused the chimpanzees to attack the group of gorillas. They stated that the chimps might have seen the infant gorilla as prey and as such moved to attack it, which resulted in the chimps killing and eating the infant gorilla. According to Deschner, it could be that sharing of food resources by chimpanzees, gorillas, and forest elephants in the Longo National Park results in increased competition and sometimes even lethal interactions between the two great ape species. Researchers have also stated that observing animals such as chimps and gorillas is quite difficult as human presence is known to alter their behaviors, reactions, and response to certain situations. Also, the scarcity of gorilla populations makes corroborative observations rare and scarce. For comparison, gorillas are much stronger, bigger, and heavier compared to chimpanzees. The average chimp is between 3 to 5 feet tall and weighs between 50 to 150 pounds on average. On the other hand, gorillas can grow as 6 feet tall and weigh up to 500 pounds, with some gorillas recorded to weigh up to 600. In terms of size, gorillas are typically much bigger and stronger compared to the average chimp, which is relatively slimmer and muscular. When it comes to a comparison in terms of strength, a single gorilla versus a single chimp is practically an unfair battle, as the average gorilla could easily overpower any chimp it comes across. Unfortunately, this was not the case in the incidents at Longo Park, Instead, it was a clan of chimps versus a small group of gorillas. In the wild, a clan of chimps commonly fight together as a single unit. Meanwhile, 
A group of gorillas would rely on the alpha or silverback to defend them, which would leave the single gorilla at a disadvantage. This was the case of the two incidents at the national park where a single alpha gorilla was pitted against several chimps while the adult females relied upon the alpha to protect them and their infants. Although the gorillas were outnumbered three to one, this left the silverback gorilla at a severe disadvantage, basically ensuring the chimps would win out whatever battle would ensue. Also, chimps have been observed to use several tools as weapons in fights, including branches, stones, and even logs of wood. But while gorillas are evidently the stronger opponents in a one-on-one -on -one fight with chimps, these same chimps are incredibly strong when compared to humans. In recorded attacks against humans, people have had their faces, fingers, and even genitals completely ripped off from aggressive attacks by a chimpanzees. They are noted to have incredible strength, which enables them to simply grab whatever body parts they can get a hold of and rip it clean off. Chimps are incredibly violent, and this is one of the major reasons why observing them at such close proximity is rare and highly dangerous. Researchers have stated that chimpanzees and humans are the only known species on the planet that wage organized acts of violence and aggression against each other. That's correct, humans are not the only species capable of organized warfare, but it appears that chimps share these violent characteristics as well. It was previously believed that warfare was a recent innovation in human evolution, but as it turns out, there might be some biological tendencies for organized warfare as well. Researchers have stated that the recent clash and war between chimps and gorillas are the result of two distinct factors shared by both species. It has been observed that one species exerts dominance, while the other exacts violent aggression. As observed in the recent fight, chimps are innately violent and aggressive, and it's clearly evident in their social structure as they are known to kill each other for land, food, and even out of spite. Over the years, there have been recorded battles between warring clans of chimps, some of which resulted in dozens of dead chimps after each altercation. As if that wasn't enough, chimps are carnivores and meat eaters, contrary to what zoologists previously believed. They had been observed to show cannibalistic behavior to the extent of eating infants and babies of their own kind. Chimps have been caught on camera hunting infant monkeys and orangutans, even when there is an abundance of plant food. But while these violent characteristics might be innate, some researchers have stated that the aggression common to chimps is a result of some type of insecurity. According to some studies, due to the small and vulnerable nature of chimps compared to gorillas, they feel they must fight and attack first, and as a result, kill to not only protect themselves, but to exert some type of dominance. Gorillas, on the other hand, are quite powerful, with strength reaching up to 10 times that of the average human. In contrast, chimps are only twice as strong as humans. Gorillas are also a lot more peaceful and less violent compared to chimps. They are noted to only fight when absolutely necessary or in cases when their dominance is threatened or provoked. The alpha male or silverback of a gorilla clan is most noted to fight other males in order to exert his dominance and also protect its choice of mate, but almost never to the point of inflicting serious injuries. In safaris across Africa and Asia, tourists have been recorded to have much better encounters with silverback gorillas than they do with a pack of aggressive chimps. In essence, researchers have stated that while gorillas are much stronger and bigger compared to chimps, they are far less prone to acts of violence and aggression. More concisely, gorillas only lash out aggressively when provoked or to protect their clan from rival gorillas or other primates. Gorillas know they are at the top of the food chain when it comes to the primate hierarchy and as such do not need to frequently demonstrate acts of violence to state their dominance. Chimpanzees, on the other hand, tend to lash out aggressively out of fear and insecurity. The researchers at Lone Go National Park intend to continue their study into the recent clash between chimps and gorillas to further understand this drastic change in attitudes between both primate species. Simone Pica, a cognitive biologist from the University of Osnabrück in Germany, stated, We are only beginning to understand the effects of competition on interactions between the two great ape species and Lone Go. Our study shows that there is still a lot to explore and discover about our closest living relatives, and that Lone Go National Park, with its unique mosaic habitat, is a unique place to do so. Researchers have also stated that even as efforts are made to study these recent incidences, a close watch should be placed on the animals, or else a full-fledged primate ward could become more widespread in the near future. There have also been reports that indicate that the incident at the Lone Go National Park isn't the only recorded altercation between chimps and gorillas. An incident that took place near Rwanda's Karasoke Research Center in 2014 involved a single gorilla and a crowd of 25 other gorillas. 
In this particular incident, the group of gorillas pounced on the single gorilla, causing serious injuries, even as he tried to flee. Luckily, the gorilla survived, but researchers have stated that a larger group of male gorillas or silverbacks could be just as aggressive and violent as chimps. And while the incident remains an isolated one, it's indicative of the aggressive tendencies of gorillas as well. Other scientists and zoologists have stated that the attacks could simply have been due to a scarcity of food during that time of year. But could that truly be the only reason? What do you think? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.